Whenever we look at a map, or we have a scale drawing, or you have a scale model, there's some kind of ratio involved. Essentially, the way it usually works is that to go from to go from the length of something on a model or in a, on a map, you multiply by a scale factor to get to what it is in real life, and to get from real life back to the model or the map, you divide by a scale factor. Here's an example. A map is drawn to a scale of 1 to 4,000. So what that means is 1 centimetre on the map represents 4,000 centimetres in real life. Now that might seem really impractical, you know, 4,000 centimetres, which is why we usually change the units once we've worked out what we want to work out. So we want to work out the length of a road which is 5 centimetres long on the map. So um, to go from, so we have 1 to 4,000, now remember this is 1 centimetre is going to be on the map, 4,000 centimetres real life. So what I would need to do is do 5 times 4,000. 5 times 4 is 20, so we would have 20 followed by 3 more zeros. Now the units haven't changed, that's going to still be centimetres. So the length is 20,000 centimetres, but you're never going to give something as 20,000 centimetres. You'd convert that back into metres. And if you remember from a previous video, to do this I would need to divide by 100, which would just give me 200. We now have the same map, Kelly drives 8,000 metres, and we want to see how long this would be or how far this would be on the map. Well, this time, to go from the model to real life, we know that we multiply by 40,000, right? One centimetre on the map, 40,000 centimetres in real life. So to go the opposite way, to go from real life back to the map, you would need to divide by 40,000. So we need to take how far Kelly has driven, which is 8,000 metres, and divide it by 40,000. So I have 8,000 divided by 40,000. which is just going to be, if I consider this, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then 1,000 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.1. So we will end up with 0 0.2. So we have 0 0.2, and again, the units haven't changed, so this is going to be 0 0.2 metres. To change that into centimetres, I would need to multiply by 100, so that's 20 centimetres. So her route would be 20 centimetres long on the map. The first hole at a golf course is 40 centimetres long. On the course guide, with a scale of 1 to 800, and we want to work out how long the hole is in real life. Again, we, we're going from the model to real life, so we would need to multiply by 800, that's our scale. So I would need to do 40 times 800. So 4 times 8 is 32, so I've got 32 with three zeros. Because it was 40 centimetres in the course guide, this is still centimetres. So let's make this into more practical units. To change that into metres, you would need to divide by 100, which would essentially give you 320. So you have 320 metres, or if you wanted to, divide that by thousands, and you get 0.32 kilometres, so under half a kilometre. Another hole in the golf course is 40,000 centimetres long in real life, and we want to work out how long this is going to be in the course guide. The scale factor is still 800. To go from the model to real life, you times by 800, real life back to the model, you divide by 800. So if it's from real life back to the model, we need to divide by 800. So I have 40,000 divided by 800. We could cancel these zeros. We have 8 into 40, which goes 5. So we end up with 50. Now the units are still centimetres, so it's going to be 50 centimetres on the course guide. This is a, definitely a calculator question, this one. So the River Thames on a map is drawn to a scale of 1 to 900,000. Calculate the length of the River Thames. So on the map, it's 38 centimetres long. 
So to go from the map to real life, we need to multiply by 900,000. We can see that's what the scale is. So I would need to do, because I'm going from the map to real life, 38 times 900,000. And we can do that on the calculator. So let me get. So 38 times 9. Although realistically, you don't need a calculator for this, but we. 34,200,000 centimeters. And what we can do now is make it into more practical units. So if we divide this by 100, we will have set, we'll have meters. So that would be 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3. So that would be 30, that would be 342,000 meters. And then to change that into kilometers, you would have to divide by 1,000, which gives you 342 kilometers. Here's another question. Another map of London has a scale of 1 to 500. Tower Bridge is 800 meters long in reality. How long is this on the map? Well, this time our scale is 1 to 500. So to go from the model to real life, I would times by 500. And to go back from real life to the model, you would divide by 500. So I need to do 82 divided by 500. So again, you probably have a calculator for this, and if I put that in, you're going to get 0.164. So we have 0.164, and this is still in meters. So practically, we would probably change this into centimeters by times it by 100, which would give you 16.4 centimeters. So on the map, it would be 16. On this question. Um, Another map has a scale of 1 to 15,000. The distance between Brixton Underground Station and Buckingham Palace is 31.2 centimetres. What is the real distance between the two places? Well, this time I would need to multiply by 15,000, which is going to give me, let's do that, 15. That gives me 468,000 um, centimetres. Change that into meters, I would divide by 100, which would give me 4,680 meters. And finally, to change that to kilometers, we would divide by 1,000, which would give me 4.68 kilometers. I also see scales to do with scale models rather than maps. So a model of the Flying Scotsman is built on a scale of 1 to 76. Find the length of the real train if the model is 30 centimeters long. So this time, to go from the model to real life, we need to multiply by 76. So I'm going to do 30 times 76, which will give me um, 2,280. And this is still centimeters. So to change that into meters, I would divide by 100, which would give me 22.8 meters. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go at them. And when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Firstly, we would need to do 9.2 multiplied by 250,000. Which is 2.3 million. And to change this into, so this is obviously centimetres, so to make this into metres, I would divide by 100, giving me 23,000 metres. And then to change that into kilometres, you divide by 1,000, giving you 23 kilometres. In the second question, we have the model of the car is 4 metres. So if we divide that by 50, we will get the length of the model, which is 0 0.08, and it's still in metres. So to make it into a more practical unit, I would make it into centimetres by multiplying by 100, which would give us 8 centimetres for the length of the model car.